Hello Lava friends, this week we must ship, use new date shorthands and fluently speak numeric in Lava 11.41 and 42. Let's go! Taylor Otwell gave an inspirational talk at Laracon EU where he mentioned that we must ship our code. And the quote got hyped a lot since then and is now part of the quotes collection in Laval. And yeah, you will see it when creating new files. Thank you, eBay. Then we have the new date shorthands you definitely need to know about. I have a test here to showcase the new date shorthands which we have now in Laval. So before every test, you want to make sure that we have a past episode and podcast which was two days ago, one which is in the future, which is in two days, and one which is today. All right, so this we have for every test. All right, let's find the past episodes. Um, basically, we will do this, give me all the podcasts where the published date is smaller than now, and we also order it. And then we make sure we have a specific count and we see a specific name. And you can see this is passing. But now we have a nicer way to write this with we're past. Publish that. Let's try this out. And you can see this is working as well, which is, yeah, quite nice to read. Okay, next one. Find future episodes where pod per published at is bigger than now. And we also now have where future now. Publish that. We don't need the rest anymore. And you can see this test is also working. And yeah, this is very nice to read. And I think it's very, yeah, very readable and good to understand. Okay, what else do we have? find past episodes including now so it's smaller or equal to now and now we also have a method for this which is called when we're now or in the past yeah like this one let's get rid of this again this should still be working and it does great so we're now or in the past and of course the same we have for future events where is we're now or future. Let's also get rid here of the rest. We don't need that anymore. All right, and you can see this is still passing and also very nice to read. We're now or future or we're now or past. Then we also have one for today, which we need here to get now into a date. Um, and then we make a date comparison, but what we can also do is we're today. And we also don't need that anymore. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And yes, also still working word today. I like this a lot. And now so we have one um, which to get episodes before today. So not today, but before today. And this is now where we're before today. Yes. Test is passing too. Yeah, so we're before today. And of course we have the same thing here. We're after today. And this is also working. Yes, give me all the podcasts where they are after today. And yeah, that's it. Let's check all of them. They are still passing, but these are the new methods. Were after today, were before today, were today, were now or future, were past or future, were future or were past. And I think it's a really nice addition to the framework. And I already see myself using those shorthands a lot. Thank you, Jason. And last level now includes a fluent numeric validation helper. In this example, we have this discount price here and we want to validate it. It should be numeric. We have a minimum of zero and less than or equal to the original price, which is another field of the data which we receive here. So the original price here is 99 and discount price is 79. Okay, let's write some rules here. It should be numeric. We have those string rules. It should be minimum zero and it should be less than or equal to the original price. Yes. Okay, let's try this out. It's working all good here. Great. Let's try to change this now to, let's say, make it just a string. We should see some errors and we do here. Um, field must be a number and less than or equal to 99. All right, let's try out this second rule here or this third one here about the original price which I think is pretty cool. So let's make it higher than our original price, which shouldn't be the case. And yeah, we see this issue here. This is not working, which is what we expected here. Perfect, so let's, let's just keep it for now. And there we have now a nicer way to write this instead of these strings here. We can now use the rule class here. 
And we already can use it for dates, for emails and enums, right? Yeah, enums. Okay, and now we can use it for numeric values as well. And we want this to be an integer. We want this to be a minimum of zero. And we want this to be less than or equal to a specific field, which is the original price. And again, this is another field of the array which we provide to the valid data. Okay, and immediately I hope you can see that this reads really well and I really like how this looks. And I think it's way better to read than what we had before. So I think this is a great improvement. But yeah, let's also make sure it still works. Yes, we have this issue about less than or equal because we haven't changed this. Let's bring this back. Let's make it 59 just for you. I give you a good price today and all is good. I really like this new feature. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you all for your contribution as always and have fun with the new features and level. Let me know in the comments which of the ones I showed you you will use for sure and we are going to see you next week. Bye.